So everyone, what is a solar callus and why should you care about it? Well, most simply, it is a tan and it's a deliberate tan that we get by gradually and progressively exposing ourselves to full spectrum sunlight that necessarily includes ultraviolet light. Now, for the longest time, we've been told that tanning isn't safe, that tanning is skin cells and trauma, and that scant tanning is going to lead to skin cancers. And the risks of tanning are not worth the benefits that we get. What I'm have educa been educating about and talking about a lot recently is that this balance of risks and benefits of sun exposure is actually much rather much larger in favor of sun exposure and tanning and this has been in a couple of very very large population based studies where they essentially went out to prove that people who got more sun were going to be dying of melanoma more frequently and living less and two studies the first that was in in Sweden found that the women who were getting more sun essentially lived lived the longest and the those who avoided the sun lived the same amount as the women who got sun but smoked so this was recently repeated and in a very very large cohort uh, in the UK and again similar findings that those who got more sun had less death less cardiovascular death less cancer death so the narratives that we've told about sun exposure and getting safe sun are incorrect and we need to balance the risks of sun versus their benefits. So this is where the solar callus comes in. And the solar callus is essentially a way of getting deliberate sun exposure in the most ancestrally and evolutionarily consistent way. And the the reason why we're seeing uh, or a multitude of reasons why we're seeing a rise in skin cancers is, in my opinion, because the environment that we're existing in is profoundly different to the one uh, which we were getting sunlight historically and ancestrally. So things like our light environment, our circadian, our artificial light environment, our circadian rhythm, even our, our diet are all going to be contributing to um, ways that we can get sun or get uh, light inappropriately. So on the reverse, the beneficial ways and the appropriate ways of, of getting sunlight to build this solar callus and reduce the risk of getting um, all forms of cancers um, are is going to be through doing it in, like I said, an ancestrally appropriate way. So this course is for you if you are hesitant about uh, getting sunlight because you've been told uh, for so long to always cover up, to always wear sunscreens, to always um, avoid ultraviolet light and only have the bare minimum of skin exposed to generate um, a minimum amount of vitamin D. If you're uncertain about how to get sunlight safely, if you're uncertain about how to get it uh, appropriately, and then this is the course for you. So I'm going to be talking through a range of topics, but the, essentially the pillars of this course are uh, the background and the theory, uh, uh, then the preparation, and then the execution. So in the theory, I'm going to be talking about what what is the natural sunlight spectrum? What kind of benefits and nutrients do we get from, from the sun? What are the health benefits specifically on things like cardiovascular disease and cancers, bowel cancers, um, breast cancers, what is the, the total effect of sunlight on these cancers? I'm also going to be talking about mechanisms to do with skin cancer. So what are the different types of skin cancers? What causes these skin cancers? What are the true underlying causes? And the second, uh, and the, the other points that I make in, in the theory is how important sunlight is, is not only for generating sufficient vitamin D level, um, but also for regulating our circadian biology and regulating our quantum biology on a quantum level. So the next section is about preparation. And this is the, the, the parts that we ideally will get aligned prior to starting a protocol of deliberate sun exposure. And as I mentioned earlier, it's about optimizing our environment and our behavior 
to make it to get, bring us as close to possible as what we were ancestrally when we had full spectrum um, sun throughout the day. And then finally, the prep, the execution part of this course is going to guide you through how to start and how to progress with sun exposure. And this is allowing for critical um, differences in people like the paleness of your skin, your Fitzpatrick skin type, as well as your latitude. And we, we, we're going to explain how um, we need to make some allowances, but um, everyone can benefit and everyone can build a solar callus um, despite what they previously have been told and perhaps um, previously um, what their experience has been. So this is going to be the most comprehensive course on deliberate sun exposure that has been prepared and uh, specifically tying and pulling together a whole bunch of threads from clinical medicine, from health optimizing and health and, and optimizing spheres, um, scientific research from basic science to animal models to interventional human trials all the way up to uh, epidemiological population-based study. So this this course is a condensation of all that information to basically give you the tools to add this to your toolbox of health optimization. And that is essentially what this is about. This is about giving you the information education so that you have this in your toolkit to make sure and to maximize your health, maximize your longevity um, as much as possible. So if you're interested, the pre-sale is going is now on sale. The course will be um, released soon after that. So follow the links in my in the show notes to um, to to purchase and get started. Uh, and I look forward to helping you guide through this process and this um, very important part of human health that, as I mentioned, has been uh, maligned and I would say. Uh, falsely accused for uh, a very long time. But the evidence is what the evidence is. The data is is out and sunlight is undoubtedly beneficial for your health. So it's up to you to um, do what you will with that information. And like I said, looking forward to helping you um, on this sun and health journey. Thank you.